Hey there YouTube, this is Mr. Weissman 4 and welcome back. Sorry it's been a while since I recorded my last video. I've been back at college, so I've been pretty busy lately. But today I wanted to do a small video on an app I've been using. It's um I actually met this guy on the XDA developer site with my own app. And it's a Sudoku app. It's if you guys enjoy playing Sudoku or whatever in your spare time, this is something fun that I really actually have come to enjoy. It's helped kill countless hours of boredom when just riding around on a bus or like in class or something and you got nothing else to do and you don't really feel like sitting there listening, you can you can play Sudoku. So here I'm gonna show you guys how to find it. Let me go to Google Play real quick and I'll type it in. Type in Sudoku number place. And here it is. It's by Sylvian Sarl. Sarl, sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly. But what we have here is the app's main page. You have this is what the app looks like while you're playing it. This is the main screen. You can either resume a current game. You can save up to like ten games in this thing, so it's pretty nice. And you have different difficulties. I've been currently playing on normal. It's it's a lot of fun. It keeps track of your score based on timing and everything like that. And it's way easier actually than using a pencil because you can keep track of what numbers are in what. So let me show you guys um, a quick picture of my screenshot of my current game. Like this is one of the ones I was playing in my class. What you can do is you can toggle this button right here with the pencil back and forth as you're writing if it's facing downward what it'll do is it'll let you put the possible numbers into the square like you would in a normal Sudoku board and then you can erase it obviously or whatever and then if you flip it back this way when you click the square you can um then add the actual big number in whatever you want to fill that square in with and what's cool is if you add and say I add in like a three here and there was a three possibility over here which there was originally then when I add this three in over here it takes that three out of this box for me, so I don't have to, like, erase it like you would in a normal Sudoku game. So that's pretty cool. And then um, what it also does is it lets you change, like, grid mode and whatever. And um, a as you, like, select a square over here, it shows you all the possible things that could affect that box. So that's pretty cool. And it's, it, it's, it's really nice. It lets you save it all. It lets you kind of keep track of it. This game took me a long time because I was actually sitting in the middle of my... um. CIS 450 class playing this, but yeah, no, I mean it's it's a lot of fun and I I really enjoy it. He's got a oh he's got a video up here of this shows you oh how the aid works. That he's even got it in a different language. Oh wow, didn't know that. Okay, but yeah, if you guys want to, you can watch the video that he's got up of this. How do I close you? I cannot. Oh, that's how. Well, going back always works. There we go. Yeah, it's got really, really good reviews. It's um, almost completely five stars. I don't know who on earth gave it five or one, five one stars, but I mean, whatever. And then um, it's got really good difficulty levels. The thing is actually challenging. It's a lot of fun. I really highly recommend you guys to go ahead and download this. It it was definitely worth the time, it the five minutes it took to find it. So I hope that's interesting, guys, and you guys enjoy it. If you, there's other apps you guys want me to do reviews on or see stuff about, let me know. I'd love to do them. I'm planning on doing another coding tutorial in the next couple of days, so that should be up eventually. It's going to be about Android hierarchies and using um, the different exit, like, uh, how, how should I put this, the different value resources, like making a strings class, making an array class, all kinds of different classes that can go into certain value folders in Android. So I'm going to go over how to do that in my next video. That should be fun. And um, we're going to do... Dave and I should have another video up soon of our Minecraft thing. Uh, he's currently occupied at the moment his, his due to his grandpa's passing. So he's been a little busy. But I hope you guys give him all your condolences. But he should be back soon. And we'll do another video with that. And um, yeah, that should be up to date with what we've been going on with. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And try out the Sudoku number place. It's definitely a lot of fun, and um, keep playing, guys. Have a good one. 